headlock off the pummel trap. I pummel, or tries to pummel it, catch the underhook. You lose it to pull him down. Cover the head, cover the arm, pull it back. Sprawl away from my opponent's head. Boom. Stretch. Down. Down to the mat. Now, my favorite attack here for the go behind is going to be what we call putting the head in the pocket. So this is our pocket. I want to try to put my head in. I'm going to use my head to stop Mark from facing me. Okay? So once I get Mark extended, ideally with very little hesitation, I'm going to tuck my head as high as I can get it. Not here at the hip. Here, right into the armpit. The test I teach here to make sure that you're doing it right is you should be able to scratch your own head. All right? So if I'm up high, I'm not putting any pressure on Mark, and I can't scratch my head. So I want to get nice and low, tuck my head, cross under step. Look, he wants to go over already. He did go over. Sorry, you're next to right. All right. I'm going to ease off a little bit. I'm just getting stuck. Boom. Stretch it out. Tuck the head. Now what I can, I can really crank this by driving my bottom elbow or my head controlling elbow down. For now I'm not gonna do that so Mark can go home and rest tonight. Cross under step. I have a couple options here. I can either catch the ankle at the knee, look for the cradle, or I like to catch the far hip. Block, there's my go behind. Now as we talked about before on the mat return video, catch the far wrist. My hips are back so more can't roll me. A lot of attacks here. This is a really dangerous position. I can start attacking. Mark covers. Go for the crucifix. Go. Keep it going. Look for arm bars here. Chokes. All sorts of fun stuff. 